Oxalis versicolor, agroplants.org. These are Bascos Geofit, uh, also known as Candy Cane Oxalis or just Candy Cane Sorel. Uh, so, Oxalis versicolor is perennial summer uh, or winter decius. It depends on the climate, it depends on the hardness on. Uh, but if you have a lot of drought and you don't add water, for sure it will go in dormant in summer. I use a, as ornamental plant for the flowers. Can grow in variety of climate, but before this, don't forget to subscribe. It's really helped me to continue and create more videos. And if you like this video, of course, just click some like. Except this, if you want to perch this plant, uh, this beautiful uh, candy cane, uh, you have a link below, link in the right top side. In the uh, and if you purchase, this is donation for this channel. Now let's continue. So. The beauty of these things, uh, it's actually when the flowers are closed. Uh, this is maybe why it's named Versicolor. Uh, it gives some uh, hint. Uh, it looks like a candy, but the moment that it's open, it's just white flowers. So it's nice, but not the flowers, actually the buds before it's bloom. So it can grow in a variety of climate, Mediterranean, subtropical or temperate climate in hardness zone of 6 to 10 a and with the right care in 10b even. Uh, possible to grow it outside of the zone but then you need to take the bulbs out of the soil uh, or in the winter uh, or in the summer if it's too much cold in the winter uh, if it's too much hot uh, better to take it in the summer to put it in the refrigerator and keep it cool and then you can grow it actually as an annual plant or I don't know just uh, not really an annual because the bulb is still alive but the major uh, problem in this trick, the bulbs are uh, very small, you probably, you probably will lose some. The leaves colors are green, linear, uh, not something special. As I said, the flowers, the buds, it's a nice pattern, it's like a candy. And the flowers, again, it's a size of 2 uh, to 3 centimeters, so it means, uh, let's say, a little bit less and a little bit more than 1 inch. Uh, except this, so how to grow it? So it's like a cool weather uh, in the growing season, well drained soil, rich soil. Uh, you can fertilize it once, once a year, mulch uh, when it's go to dormant. Uh, I think it's important the mulch when it's go to dormant, it's, it keeps the bulbs, but it's not must for sure. You can start to grow it by plants, seedlings, seeds, bulbs, or just uh, the easiest, of course, is just to have bulbs or a plant, but it's not very hard to start from seeds. Uh, it might be invasive, but usually not. Contain oxalic uh, acid, so be aware that it's like half edible, half not, but don't eat it because this one it's not edible, but I mean like it won't kill you. But it contains something that it's not very uh, good in high quantities for sure, and about the edibility it's not edible. Planting season, it's spring to the summer Summer in hardness zone of 6 to 10A and autumn to the winter in hardness zone of 10B. Better of course in the spring or in the autumn will be much better. When you plant it, uh, so how to plant it? Plant, it? plant it in a bigger hole, deeper than the root ball or the bulbs for sure. Add some organic matter, uh, hummus, dried leaves, do a mix and then, repl and then plant it. Why it's better? It's uh, when you have all the ingredients and the nutrients that the plant need, it just will grow better. Uh, except this, just uh, put a little bit more water in the first uh, few day, a few weeks. Let's say like week and a half. Increase the amount of water until the plant established. The moment that the plant is established, there is no problem. Major pests are powdery mildew and some kind of fungal that I'm I don't know the name, so I apologize for this. Pruning season, uh, winter in hardness zone of 6 to 10A and or spring to summer in hardness zone of 10B. It depends how much it's hot in the spring. If it's too much hot, it will go to dormant in the spring. And if it's less hot, it will go in dormant in the summer. Usually uh, pruning it's for the dead parts and the size of the plant it's uh, 20 to 35 centimeter. This is for big plants, it means 8 to 14 uh, inches but usually it's uh, there is not usually but it can grow smaller like uh, even like 10 to 20 centimeters so it's made like 4 to 8 inches and in the right condition it's a fast growing plant that require average to big amount of water hotter the area and uh, 
better the drainage of the soil, you will need more water. Less good drainage, you will need less water, so uh, choose what you want or what you have, so this is an option. Uh, grow in full sun to half shade. Um, in a very hot climate, it will bloom well in half shade. I understood that in a colder climate, it will be a little bit less flowers in half shade, but it is possible. Uh, the size of the pot can be from 3 to 6 uh, liters, so it means 0.5 to 1.6 gallons. But be aware that uh, bigger uh, will be also okay. It depends on the plant. Better that the container will be mostly shallow because there is always a new plant that grow next to each other. And the nice of this plant, you know, it's nice when you have it very crowded and a lot of plants uh, next to each other and then it starts uh, blooming. And the beginning it will be like beautiful, uh, charming, as I said, the flowers are just white when it's open. Or just put it in the top, elevated, and then you will see the beautiful colors of the flower even when they are open. Um, except this every few years, better to switch the soil. Uh, if you grow it and you see that the container arrived to full capacity, just switch the, to bigger container, but if you don't want, it's an option just to reduce the amount of plants and roots that grow in this uh, container. Better, of course, to do it in the season of the dormant. Uh, it's just better. But it's harder to know uh, all the bulbs because sometimes it just mixes with the soil. Better a uh, soil that will be free from little rocks. Uh, rich soil and organic matter is also good, but free from rocks it's important. Uh, especially in the, in the top. Blooming season will be from the summer to the autumn in hardness zone of 6 to 10A. Or winter to spring in hardness zone of 10B. Uh, if you want to grow it from seeds, just for uh, just for um, for the understanding, more information you have in growplants.org, the website. Uh, you have a link below. You can check how to grow it. But uh, general, in spring, it's above five Celsius degree, I mean 41 Fahrenheit. If it's in autumn, uh, less than zero, uh, don't plant it. Above zero, it will be better. So the temperature will be better. Half uh, above 5 Celsius, 41 uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, the soil should be moist soil and humidity, better with full sun. It takes usually between 3 to 5 weeks to germinate. And except this, uh, important to keep the soil moist and high humidity, don't let it dry. This is what is important. So except this, it's a beautiful plant uh, with beautiful flowers. Actually, the buds, it's a beautiful thing. And again, uh, another option to take it up the, the plant if you grow it in a container and just see it from below it can be lovely you will see all the flowers and except this uh, it's not very hard and it's unique idea for flowers so maybe you should consider to grow it Why not? that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant, and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy, and come visit us again.